What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Justin, aka Adobe Wan Kenobi, and today we're talking about how you can achieve that authentic film look with your digital footage inside Premiere Pro using a plugin called Dehancer. Now, if you're someone like me who's in the past considered switching over to DaVinci Resolve for your color grading needs, then listen up because this video may be for you. Dehancer is a third-party plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, and more. It lets you have full control over your footage to achieve that authentic film look that a lot of editors have deemed impossible with Premiere Pro. I'm looking at you, DaVinci crowd. Now, as you may have guessed, today's video is sponsored by none other than Dehancer. And if you like what you see today, stick around to the end. I'm gonna be giving you a promo code so you can try Dehancer at a discounted rate. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I had the chance to test out Dehancer on some footage that I recently shot in the Riviera Maya for a travel film that I recently released. If you wanna see that full video, the link will be in the description. But as for today, I'm gonna to be taking you through my color grading and film emulation process with Dehancer to show you how I would go about grading these same clips, but using Dehancer this time. As well as we're gonna go over two key features that I think make this plugin completely worth the investment. So with that being said, let's jump right into Premiere Pro and see what all the hype's about. So inside Premiere Pro, we're gonna go to our effects and we're gonna search for Dehancer Pro. I have V 1.3, we'll drag that onto our clip. You'll immediately see a color shift. Now we'll go to our Dehancer Pro plugin. We've got all these different options. We're gonna go to input to start and you'll notice we have a drop down menu here and we're just gonna go to choose camera. So Dehancer kind of comes with a bunch of conversion LUTs. We've got phones, we've got drones, we've got cameras, and they're all located right here. We got a bunch of Sony, which is what I used to shoot these particular clips. So I'm gonna go with the Sony Alpha 7S III. Now I'm going to adjust the exposure. I think I'm gonna leave it somewhere around negative 0.7. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to increase our temperature comp just to get a little bit of warm coloring to it but now I just need to counteract that with my tint a little bit so it's not too orangey. Bring some purples back in there. Now we'll go to our film profile. There's a bunch of presets here, but I think I'm gonna use AGFA, AGFA Color Portrait or AGFA, I'm not really sure. Then I'm just gonna set this push pull option to about 0.5. That's looking kind of nice. Now up next, we're gonna go to Film Grain, which is one of my favorite features with the Dehancer plugin. We can customize our grain. If we put our size to 10, you'll see we get this nice big grain, but we're gonna set that back to one. We're gonna set our amount to about 10, set our shadows to about 10 as well. Our midtones probably about 50 and our highlights around 75. Now that's looking pretty nice. So again, I do love having complete control over my grain. That's not something I'm used to and very thankful for with this plugin. Now moving on to halation. If we enable it, you'll kind of see it, but we can increase it a little bit more. We kind of get a bit of red bleeding around our highlights, which emulates a traditional film look. If you've ever shot with a film camera, you'll notice that this just naturally happens, but we can recreate it with this Dehancer plugin today, which is super helpful and again, why it's a film emulation plugin. Now play around with those settings because depending on the clip, you'll need to increase them differently. But for this clip in particular, I'm trying to get a little bit of red bleeding around these cliffs here. Now, the next feature that I'm really a fan of is the bloom feature. If we enable that, you'll see we get kind of the dreamy glow around our highlights there, which is super nice. And if we increase some settings here like amplify, we can increase the effect. We'll set our highlights to 100 as well. You can tell the difference if I put it to zero, it's just way more noticeable. Now, if we play it back, we've got some pretty interesting results that look very cinematic. Now, finally, I'm just going to add Lumetri Color to do a little bit of final tweaking. And you don't have to do this step. This is kind of separate from the Hanser, but this is what I would actually be doing. I'd add a little bit of contrast via the Curves tab in Lumetri Color. And as you can see with this before and after, we get some pretty great results. And it's worth noting, they also have an iOS app available for download as well. So now that you've seen my color grading process and my film emulation process, I'm gonna be just breaking down a couple of the key features that I think are really 
great within this plugin. I really love that they have specific camera conversion LUTs. This is super good for beginners as it gives you a easy to understand menu and you literally just find the camera that you shot your footage on and that is it. And they have a solid selection of popular cameras. Now, another noteworthy feature and one of the two features that I think really make this plugin worth it is the halation control. Now, who doesn't love that soft red filmic glow in your footage? And if we're being completely honest, this is one of the reasons why I was looking to switch to DaVinci Resolve for color grading needs because the halation glow is just, it makes everything look so much better. Now, the third key feature I wanna talk about is the highlight bloom control. I love having that dreamy glow on my footage and you can't achieve that without some messy workarounds within Premiere Pro. So again, this is another one of the reasons why I was considering switching over to DaVinci Resolve for color grading. But again, I'm happy I don't have to anymore. And the fourth feature that I was really impressed with is the realistic film grain and the control you have over it. We already went through it, but I love that you can completely customize the look of your film grain and it's super simple to do. And it's honestly not super RAM intensive, which I was surprised with. The film grain looks great and it eliminates the need for heavy, large files of 4K film grain that you've got to duplicate a bunch of times, set them all to screen mode, and then leave them at the top of your edit, just getting in the way. So again, Dehancer makes that process so much easier. Now, as promised today, we're gonna get you fine, lovely individuals, a discount code for Dehancer. So if you go to the link in my description and use code Saran, that's S-E-R-R-A-N, at checkout, you're gonna get a 10% discount. And now you're gonna be able to get that filmic look that we all desperately want on your digital footage. So with that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.